trust in. Okay, so one of the things I remember about my childhood was when I was at primary school. I suppose I was about eight or nine. Well, first of all, I ought to tell you about this boy who used to bully me. Carl Foster, his name was, and he was really like a big kid. He used to bully smaller kids like me, and, you know, he called me names and threatened to beat me up and horrible things like that. So I really didn't like this guy at all. And anyway, we used to have our lunch in the dining hall, and we weren't really meant to be there after we'd had lunch, because there was a big marble floor, and what people used to do was run along and dive onto the floor and slide right to the other side of the room. And one time, I was a bit enthusiastic, I suppose, and jumped onto the floor and went sliding along at high speed and hit my head and cut my head open. And I kind of ran out, you know, blood everywhere and uh, spoke to a teacher. And the kind of slightly embarrassing thing about it was that I said to the teacher that Carl Foster had hit my head against the wall. And so... Uh, he got the blame for it, and I got some care and attention. So it was a bit unfair, but it serves him right, I suppose. Helen. When I was a child, we used to go on holiday to the same place every year. It was a seaside town in England, and there was a fairground kind of place with all kinds of amusements and slot machines and things like that. And we went along with our pocket money and there was a machine where you put some money in and if it landed in the right place, you won a prize. And I was sure I'd drop my money in the right place, but I didn't win a prize. And I was very upset and furious. <laughs> so I hit the machine to try to make sure that I won a prize. But the alarm went off and when the alarm went off, the manager came out of his office. So... I ran away with my brother and we ran all the way back to where we were staying and I was absolutely terrified and when we got back my brother told me that the police were going to come and arrest me and for about three days afterwards right until the end of the holiday I didn't dare go out or go to the beach or anything because every time I saw a policeman I thought I was going to be arrested and maybe sent to prison which didn't happen, actually. So you should never believe anything your brother tells you, basically. <laughs>